Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and friends beyond the binary, it's try it's time for this podcaster who's drinking apple cider. Uh, so I could sound as, as, as you know, no one says as smooth as cider, but cider real well. I guess it's not smooth. It is smooth when you're drinking it before a sleep podcast. Uh, it is for me. It's lulling and soothing too. I love I love uh, apple cider. Tonight's episode not sponsored by apple cider, but made possible uh, the lack of mouth noise is made possible by apple cider, and also my what do they call it? my hydration scooter. Hydrated by cider, apple cider, as opposed to, there probably are other ciders, a soft, you know, not a soft, is it, if it's not hard cider, is it soft cider? Because uh, this could be a podcast ab- intro, but it's just a teaser because it's time for, what's this guy talking about? Well, it's time for sleep with me. Why don't you uh, fall asleep and not find out? It's a podcast that puts you to sleep. And here's the ways we keep the show free for everybody. Uh, hey, everybody, have you checked out our merch store lately? If not, you better get over there. Bernie the Butterfly is waiting on a T-shirt uh, for, for to be purchased, in, to be in your home, and uh, you know, for you to be wearing Bernie around town. Also, as we get into the autumn season, you're going to want to stock up on those sleep pants. They are extra cozy, and they have stars that glow in the dark on the butt. More importantly, but 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 uh, this just in: stars on the butt that glow in the dark. You know that's that's some that's kind of some wholesome giggling. You, you know when you turn out the lights. Uh, it, I mean, I guess well, hold on. Yeah, no, no. I was talking about the, it, it, so start. By the way, there's stars on the butt that glow, and you can find my more at sleepingbepodcast.com slash store. And you can check out all of our other amazing merch. Uh, Sleep with me podcast at account slash store. Thanks. All right. It's time for the sleepy supporter zone. And I wanted to thank two people that got their website set up with Wix. Wix.com slash sleep 20 to get 20% off your Wix premium plan today. And two websites for you to check out. Uh, I want to thank Rachel, who appointed her sister to Wix. And her sister set up a new website, minorplanningdesign.com. That's M I N O R planningdesign.com, all one word. And then Allegra set up her uh, website for her business, uh, Fresh Clean Buzz. So get over to freshcleanbuzz.com. See what the Fresh and Clean Buzz is about. And if you have a business, if you have a product, uh, if you have a service, you know, artistic thing you're working on, set it up with Wix, Wix wix.com slash sleep20. You'll get 20% off your Wix premium plan today. And that's the end of the Sleeper Supporter Zone. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Allegra. And uh, on with the show. Oh, and before I go to the mystery part, if you check out any of our new sponsors, let me know right away. We got Four Sigmatic. I'd love to hear uh, what you ordered from Four Sigmatic. So let me know about that. Uh, And that's the end of the Sleepy Supporter Zone. Oh, Mystery Bard, a lot of people help out on this show. Who are they? Posty poster song. Sounds like an earful. Wrote the theme song. Edits episodes. Carl W. The Legend. Also edits episodes. Kenny Scotty and Jennifer. Runner, 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 runner. Eric and the team. Write us down. They're on the website. I am the Mystery Bard. I do the lullabies, yeah. I do commissions at JonathanMan.net. I'll write a song for you. You see the kindness shine straight on through When the listeners form their own Facebook group Keith, Stacy, Sarah, Julie, and Jennifer These are your moderators you Get support, dear Scooter, on Patreon Buy the merch and support the sponsors You can find anything you want At sleepwithmepodcast.com And we're so proud Thanks to Mr. Bard. You can find me at Dear Scooter on Twitter or Instagram. And if you want to join the Sleep With Me newsletter uh, that one day will be in production and have cool stuff uh, and, uh, you know, stay up to date on stuff, go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash newsletter. And uh, that's it, I think. Uh, what do you say we get on with the show? Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning? Mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep, well, welcome 
This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it the bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's, uh, you know, thoughts, uh, things you're thinking about, uh, things on your mind, past, present, or future, uh, feelings, you know, uh, physical sensations or emotional, uh, those are sensations, not all, non, you know, that aren't sensational. Maybe you're feeling sensational and you can't wind down. Whatever's keeping you awake, you know, work schedule, travel, moving, whatever's keeping you up, I'm here to help. Uh, what I'm going to do is to have a safe place here set aside. Tonight, uh, a little bit different safe place because I'm looking at a twin size mattress. I have a replicated podcast studio here in an undisclosed uh, 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 puffy location within a puffy cloud. And uh, what I'm going to do, so it's a safe place, come on in now, uh, or don't come in, you know, look at it. You know, no pressure, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use a lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents, uh, you know, meanders, go off topic, repetitive thoughts, all those things. Definitely ovular and circular logic, illogical behavior, lots of things. But here's the thing. I'm kind of a friendly voice, or ideally, I'm a friendly voice in the night here to keep you company. So if you're new, welcome. I'm glad you're here, and I hope I can help you or just keep you company or lighten the mood. Now, the podcast doesn't work for everybody, so give it a few tries and see how it goes. If you're already like, oh, boy, this isn't for me. You know, believe it or not, I have have a lot of people that go to the website, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash no thank you, but no one... uh, has uh, gone, you know, let me know about it, or especially the people that dis- they say, this podcast doesn't work for me so much, I'm going to donate money to a nonprofit. So if you're feeling really strongly, go to sleepwithmepodcast.com slash no thank you, then go all the way down and you say, Scoots. Well, you would, most people that review the podcast, they'll call me Scoots. Uh, but so see how it goes. So for most people, just see how it goes. I'm here to help. But let me give you some information if you're new. So... One thing, advice is to, I said I'm recording in a puffy cloud. And a lot of times, the reason it takes two or three times to listen is because naturally you're skeptical or you're quizzical. And you might try to listen like you listen to a normal podcast or something that you're trying to figure out. And this podcast is a bit like, like, let's say we went to um, a, a flea market or a garage, like a big garage sale, like one of those ones where it's like 15 people together. And they just had a bucket of puzzle pieces. Instead of, they say, you'd say, I've never used this analogy, but it kind of fits. You say, okay, is that one, like jigsaw puzzle, I mean, the ones that come on paperboard. And you say, okay, is there one puzzle in there? They say it's a bucket of puzzle pieces, you know, all, all, all or nothing, they, they'd say. You say, well, I can't buy one or two. I make puzzle piece of base art. And they'd say, no, no, this is a bu- bucket of puzzle Is there, was there one? Well, there was, I remember there was a puzzle of a grandfather clock in there. And we, you know, we, we said, well, we don't need that. And so we put it in there. So there are puzzles. I don't know, to be honest. It's a bucket of puzzle pieces. And that would be confusing because you'd say, I don't know if I should buy this or not. I mean, I would definitely buy it. I'd say, well, whoa, 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 whoa. How much, how much is it going for? And well, I guess I'd say, okay, what is it? It'd have to be like, a, let's just say it's a five-gallon bucket of puzzle pieces. That I might have to decide on. You'd say, could I pour them out so I can make sure none are waterlogged? Here, here's some puzzle. If you're buying bug, bucket, this is a this is a new podcast, the Buckets of Puzzle Pieces podcast. Very niche. Uh, so probably only be part of one podcast episode. Uh, but uh, yeah, d- dump out your bucket. Make sure none of your pieces are waterlogged. But also dump it out on a tarp or something dry. I've made these mistakes before. 
uh, don't lean over your buckets of puzzle pieces before you buy them when you're drinking something or having a, a soft serve because I've done that. And then because they say, well, you just bought that bucket of puzzle pieces, bub. Uh, and they say, okay, well, uh, good, good thing uh, I know an imaginary friend that makes a puzzle piece space start because uh, she can use it. Okay, so the podcast is a bit like that, the bucket of puzzle because you say, well, I don't, if you were like, uh, it, w- it would be a conundrum whether to purchase them, what to do with them. I mean, if you were going on a long vacation, then you'd say, okay, let's try to see what we could do with this bucket of puzzle pieces. Also, have you looked in our merch store? Right now, going for forty nine ninety five buckets of, uh, re, uh, not, not really, but uh, I'm sure you could buy those somewhere. But this podcast is more like a, puzz, a bu- puzzling bucket of pieces or a piece of piece, a bucket of puzzling pe- pieces that are puzzling. I guess that's the analogy I was trying to make for new listeners. And sometimes when I'm trying to make the analogy, I go on so many tangents that I also uh, inadvertently, I think I get what I mean. Regular listeners do. You wouldn't go right into that bucket and expect to make something, a a grandfather clock or whatever. Or, you know, oh, that's the Rhine in spring. You say, oh, okay. Well, I see some, oh, oh, no, that's also a rind of... uh, and, oh, no, there's the spring named Rhyme. So, oh, yeah, all those puzzles must have been in this bucket. Don't know if they're complete or not. So if you were, view it like a bucket of puzzle pieces instead of a definitely one, you know what I mean? I don't know if, I, if you do. So you'll find out. That's why I guess it takes two or three tries. So kind of, I guess the, the, the TLDR version is let it drift in one ear and let it drift out the other. Or here's another thing you can do, because a lot of people say, well, we got to put these puzzle pieces together. I said, no, no, there's so many other ways to use uh, giant buckets of puzzle pieces. Oh, what price was it going to pay? That's what other some, uh, I'd say if they're charging more than $10, I'm out of there. But if they're asking 10, I don't think I would pay 10. I mean, a five gallon bucket bill, filled to the brim that's dry all the way through probably is where, you know, maybe I would pay 10. I I guess I would. Here's my $10. Does it come with a lid? I, that would be, an, that's another important question. If you protect your puzzle pieces, I mean, come on, you've heard that before from people other than me, right? Like grandmothers, uh, grandfathers, puzzle pros. It, it, is there a Puzzle Pros podcast? They would, oh, Puzzle Pros, Puzzling Pros. That I accidentally came up with a new way to explain the podcast, full of puzzling pros. Uh, can someone please remind me of some of this stuff? It, it might actually be useful. So I got to get off this puzzle metaphor. But also that's another thing, good for sitting. That's what I was saying. If you have a lid, also a seat. But you can. it's soothing. Put your hand in there. It's not quite like sand. Run your fingers through it. Let them let the puzzle pieces run through your fingers. Another thing I like to do to stay calm is flip them like quarters. Uh, you could also create a game of that. You know, puzzle, puzzle, puzzle in the bucket. Puzzle, you know, that's a famous game they used to play right around the time pick up sticks and tiddlywinks was popular. Uh, so a lot of thing, a lot of great things you can do. And you, okay, you say scoots, are you serious at all? Get to, okay, here's the thing. If you, if you do, because I know there's some serious, you know, people that are puzzled about this puzzling stuff. Uh, you get a, uh, you get yourself one of those, not watercolors, I'd say, but the other kind of paints that aren't acrylic, they kind of look like they're made of a paste. Uh, you get them at the 99 cent store. And then you just paint the, like, as you're going through and sort, if you did sort all of them, you'd paint the back of them. Then you can still keep them in the same bucket. But you know, oh, blue is, uh, uh, you know, the Rhine, you know, Rhine River. Uh, it, well, no, blue's the Danube, but you're right. Excuse me. How could I be so confused? Uh, you say, okay, that, that, uh, Pale yellow, Walt Whitman's favorite view. Everybody knows that, don't they? Shout out to the WW. Uh, oh, that was Walter. Oh, no, really? 
There's a puzzle, uh, like one from that TV show, Breaking Breaking Nice Stuff. Uh, what is Walter White's favorite view? Stack of cash, probably. Anyway, so if you're new, welcome. Sorry, that was a, like inadvertent tangents. So the show goes on a lot of tangent, doesn't make a lot of sense. Structurally, I was going to explain that earlier on, but I got sidetracked there. Uh, show starts off with a few minutes of business. That's how we keep the podcast free for everybody. Then there's an intro, which is like around 12 to 18 minutes of me rambling, which you're getting, you know, I think you just got about 11 minutes of ramble there. And the intro is designed to, uh, so you could just uh, it wind down, whether you're in bed or getting ready for bed. A lot of listeners fall asleep to it. A lot of listeners get ready for bed. And uh, some listeners listen to it during the day. Uh, some people listen, you, you know, so just see how it goes. But the intro is specifically long and rambly uh, because, it, I don't know, it just grew out of, out of time. I mean, even in this, I think I'm, no, I'm in the 150s. I've been working on a project. And uh, you see, the intros weren't like this. Uh, they slowly developed it because this is what has uh, been, I don't know, it's just what's been sticky, I guess. Another thing about but nothing sticky in, I dropped lollipops in there. Holy mackerel. So don't, if, if you're going to ruin your own bucket of puzzle pieces, don't do it, uh, do it yourself. Don't buy one with, and you find out there's a blow pop at the bottom, especially one that's melted. So then you have gum and blow pop and puzzle pieces. Those are things that don't go together. My grandmother had one of those, uh, what are those things called? A stitch, cross stitch that said that, or whatever you call the thing, on a pillow. Puzzle pieces and blow pops, they don't go, they just don't go together. It was, it was something more pithy and short than that, but you get the point. I, I didn't. I, I had to learn the hard way. All of these things. You'll find this in one of my books one day. I think I said to the titles, you know, or maybe in my new podcast, Puzzling Pros That Puzzles. Uh, Pros for puzzlers. Those are all podcasts I'll never launch or books I'll never write. Uh, maybe. Anyway, so structure show. There's an intro, 12 to 18 to 20 to 14 to 15 minutes or so. And you can use that to wind down. Now, a few, few listeners, I think it's around 4%, skip ahead about 18 to 20 minutes and they'll get to the story. Tonight it'll be an episode of our ongoing episodically modular series uh, the Adventures of Dr. Triangle and Isosceles. And there's some business between the intro and um, with the sto story, just uh, just kind of st how the structures of podcast uh, mechanics work. And then at the end of the show are thank yous. So it's a structure show. I don't make a lot of sense. Also, you don't need to listen, which you kind of explained with the, pot, you know, with that, with the whole bucket thing. Because it's like I'm giving you advice that's like halfway there, right? You say, well, this is actually good advice. In a world where there's where pu bu buckets full of pu pu puzzle pieces are a common thing, This, if I'm ever in that world, Scoots, this is going to be good advice. I might not remember it, uh, but it, it would be good to use. Until that day, I'll probably just sleep through this stuff, but maybe one day I'll wake up... Uh, you say, what a wonderful world that would be, right? Because uh, we wouldn't have time. You would say, what, why? what happened? Like, how? so who was the guy that saved the world? Can't remember. Well, how did he save the world? How did he change everything? Because, you know, we got Mother Teresa. We got Gandhi. You know, Martin Luther King. And who was, uh, well, how do you fix everything? Because remember everybody, remember those, that decade, those time when everybody was kind of, it had a little grouch going. It was after the aughts. I don't even remember what we called it back then. It, it was the grouchy years. Oh, yeah, I remember those years. Uh, and then every cha everything changed. Everybody's so, uh, everybody, you know, the, 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 every, who was that person? I don't remember who it was because they, they were forgettable, but the idea was unforgettable. Every human being got a bucket of puzzle. It turns out there's uh, so much puzzle pieces. First, there was the great uh, international quest uh, for lost and uh, unused puzzle pieces. That was one of the great unifiers, and along the way, 
when people were doing that, there was a lot of people that were, they were able to collaborate and say, huh, how do we fix that water stuff? Well, this is my idea. Because they were listening, because they were focused on searching for puzzle pieces. And then they said, what about that food thing? Oh, well, we could try this. Oh, yeah. Well, what about, you know, hosting uh, one another in a loving manner? Wow, that sounds great. They say, oh, do you, do you want a half of my sandwich? Well, that is that, are you making an analogy? Well, I guess so, but also here, have half of it. Holy, oh, look, there's a, this person has uh, 40,000 puzzles in their garage. Wow, great. And then every person in, in, on earth was given a bucket of puzzle pieces, and they found that uh, it was a great unified. We don't remember who, who it was uh, because the idea had been proposed a bunch of other times, particularly on a sleep podcast. Uh, oh, it was, it was Sheena Easton, of all people. She, she was the one who, oh, okay, yeah. But she listened to that sleep podcast. She also had the idea because great ideas are all, well, she actually, she was the one who uh, worked on the collaborative. Uh, there was other, th you know, things going on uh, in the training. Oh, when they were training us uh, to look for the puzzle pieces, they were also training us to live together in, in a shared experience. Oh, wow, Sheena Easton, eh? Well, that's great, but I thought you were in the middle of an intro for a sleep podcast. We were. Excuse, uh, sorry about that. There's a little history, future history Live here uh, and Puzzling Pros. I think maybe, I don't know, I slipped into a fugue state. Uh, so, uh, oh, you don't need to listen to me. There you go. I just gave you a live example of why. And also, no pressure to fall asleep. I'm going to be here for about an hour to keep you company as you drift off. Uh, I'm your boar bud. And my job is to keep you company as you fall asleep. And if you can't sleep, I'm here to the very end. I care about you. Uh, you know, whether you're sound asleep or you're wide awake, uh, I know I know how it feels. Uh, so I'll be here till the end, and then you can queue up another episode or 10 episodes if you need it, okay? Because uh, I truly believe not only do you deserve a good night's sleep, uh, but you do deserve some comfort and some levity in the deep, dark night. And also now, a bu bu bucket of randomized... Bu no, 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 not randomized. Just... To, Puzzle pieces. We don't know what's in your bucket. Until Sheena Easton came along and said, at the bottom of the bucket is love. Uh, and then she had that hit, hit song, uh, at the bottom of the bucket, uh, there's love. Uh, who was the dude with the sleep pod? I don't remember because he he was the one that got, he got on, you know, that was the difference. Sheena Easton only gets on 4% of the world's nerves. Uh, sleep podcaster, he got on 40% or something. So that was, a, that was one also... She's, she's, she's got, she had the people skills. I said, well, great. Uh, I'm just waiting for my, my personal bucket of puzzle pieces, which was also my memoir, which sold, they only sold two copies. Thanks, mom. Uh, well, actually I gave it for you Anyway, so that's uh, how a podcast works. Uh, unexpected tangents. Holy cow. What a ride we had. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I mean, we may have accidentally solved some things or just thought of a, a new thing, a new hobby. And also that could be like Knox. This could be my new thing with Koa. Puzzle, but what would we call ourselves? The puzzle, puzzle bucketers. I don't know. We'll think about it in another intro. Thank you so much for listening. Thanks for checking the show out if you're new. Uh, like I said, I really want to help. I work very hard on these shows, which sometimes is surprising, but... I do because I care. I really want to help you fall asleep. Uh, and uh, so I appreciate your time. And here's a couple of ways we're able to keep this podcast free for everybody. All right, everybody. I'm very excited to talk about our new sponsor, Four Sigmatic, uh, a superfood company founded by a bunch of Finnish fun guys. Their aim is to popularize functional mushrooms and adaptogens by incorporating them into mainstream products like coffee, tea, and uh, cacao, cocoa, hot cocoa. That's what we're going to be talking about tonight. But here's the main thing you need to know. It's super, super easy to use. Uh, you just uh, open your packet and you mix it with hot water. And if you listen to podcasts, I was already familiar with them because they have a mushroom coffee that's very good. You know, I talk about this a lot on the podcast and the interviews is the whole idea of a good bedtime routine 
is to relax the mind and body. And the reason I'm really happy for this uh, Four Sigmatic partnership is because I've been able to make them a part of my bedtime routine. And what I've been doing is uh, whipping up a mug of uh, the hot cacao with reishi. I want to say reishi, but it's you say reishi, I'll say reishi. And it is delicious. It's low in sugar. And here's what I've been able to do is instead of having dessert or for some of you, maybe a cocktail, uh, the hot cacao with reishi is a perfect substitute. It's a bedtime treat. So I make it about an hour before uh, I want to be asleep and I sit outside. I do a little reading and it just helps me to start to relax and unwind. It's made with a special cacao blend with reishi mushrooms. And it, like I said, again, it is really, really good. They also have reishi elixir. And I've also tested that out as a part of my relaxation routine. And it doesn't taste like mushrooms. It has a, a nice, uh, warm, earthy flavor. And you can mix it in with your beverage of choice or like a sweetener. So it's time to plus your nightly wind down routine with Four Sigmatic. Don't wait because they have a special offer for sleep with me. 15% off your Four Sigmatic purchase. Uh, so that way you could try the coffee for the morning and the hot cacao with reishi mushrooms. Try the reishi elixir. They have a ton of other amazing products. And again, if you're a road warrior, if you travel a lot, it's perfectly packable. And that way you have your morning and your nighttime routine covered. Really, would you, like when you're in a hotel room, there's nothing better than having a nice wind-down treat. Four Sigmatic is offering our audience 15% off your Four Sigmatic purchase. Go to foursigmatic.com slash sleepwithme or use the discount code sleepwithme. That's all one word at checkout. So go to Four Sigmatic. That's F O U R S I G M A T I C dot com slash sleepwithme. One word. And then use sleepwithme at checkout for 15% off your Four Sigmatic purchase. Let me know how, how you're working it into your nighttime routine. You know, maybe post a picture and tag me. Foursigmatic.com slash sleepwithme. Thanks, everybody. All right. Hey, everybody. It's time for another episode of our episodically modular series with just a touch of seriality, but you can listen to it in any order because I spent a few minutes at the top of every episode catching you up. Uh, uh, Our series is called The Adventures of Dr. Triangle and Isosceles, and it starts in a world without math, a world once just like ours. Until uh, a goddess named Discordia came and removed uh, not all math, but most math principles. Some places all inconsistently removed math from our world. You know, which set us back, believe it or not, uh, like uh, in centuries and centuries and centuries, you know, down to like the. Uh, it's a new dark age, though it's not all dark. Most of this takes place during the daytime, too. Uh, so post, we live in a post-math world, so, so no more devices, screen time, unless you really know what you're doing is impossible. And, you know, back to basics, but even then you say, well, ba- is ba- do I need math to do basic? Is that math principle exist in our world? Uh, but two here, well, there's a goddess who loves math, there's a shot, uh, and she knows the world needs math. What the world needs now is math, uh, sweet math. Uh, there's one algorithm I've just been dreaming of, uh, and that's what this goddess would sing if she sang. But instead, she takes action. Uh, of course, as in all stories like this, uh, through an in- intermediaries, a pair of intermediaries, uh, Dr. Triangle and Isosceles, once in, in a sweet, sweet taste of irony, uh, anti- performers who parodied math and lovers of math. Uh, and uh, they, they were not exactly anti-math. They just capitalized on anti-math sentiment uh, that led to the, I guess, uh, when, I don't know, we're, 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 this isn't the prequel. It's the, uh, in our current world, there's not a lot of math. And we're following Dr. Triangle and Isosceles, uh, who are traveling the world, attempting to restore principles of math and uh, work with Sushat uh, to, you know, get get things back on track. Uh, one plus one it does equal two uh, heroes in this case. There's also a narrator named Ada, the mule, uh, their mule. Possibly, you know, could be more than just a mule, but, uh, you know, 
I, I can't say that. So let's see. What else do you need to know? Dr. Triangle and Isosceles, uh, performers going to town to town, for the, for, for the most part in the Midwest of the former United States. Uh, and I think that's I think that's it. Uh, we also have a Hollywood uh, announcer, uh, Mister Antonio Banderas. Uh, thank you, thank you, uh, the ladies, is the gentlemen, the boys, is the girls, the friends beyond the binary. It's time to visit a world without math for the adventures of Doctor Triangle, Nye Sussles. One, yeah, yeah, in a world without masks, we're visiting them there. Okay, thanks, Antonio. And bonus, since we're recording in a different location, you get to actually lie in a bed right next to me and listen to the podcast, which will be for me very conducive because I'll have to really keep my tone just like I was recording the podcast, having you so close to me. Is uh, it will be interesting, and you know, also same rules apply. You know, shoes off, uh, clothes on, on top of the comforter, and uh, you know, no sque- you know, no shifting around. Cha- also, change out of your pockets. Uh, that was one I learned uh, recently. I know you don't, but uh, yeah. That, so, uh, do you have any, uh, my friend? I look forward to this. Uh, and this was actually less of a drive uh, than normal because I was also traveling. Yep, so that's uh, Mr. Antonio Bandaris in the uh, d- d- Adventures of Dr. Triangle and Isosceles. Uh, hello, everyone. This is Ada, your narrator. Welcome to another episode of uh, Dr. Triangle and Isosceles, the Adventures of Dr. Triangle and Isosceles. I just wanted to do a t- tiny bit of uh, information distributing for you. So Dr. Triangle and Isosceles are traveling somewhere they haven't been before. On, the, on this series, as we've been expl- relaying you the information, uh, they're headed to a place much more loyal to the goddess Discordia and uh, where people gathered uh, to, originally to, 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 that wanted to live in a world without math uh, or math principles, a uh, world, uh, you know, that, uh, that uh, we're trying to, I guess, that, that's trying to be fixed. Well, I think it's all... Uh, well-intentioned in their minds uh, for their needs and things. You know, some of us that uh, love math may have strong feelings about that uh, in order, but, you know, not total order. We know that the, uh, well, maybe we'll learn that the world is a balance of things. Not tonight, though, because this is a world a bit out of balance. Behind, uh, well, it's, it's uh, you, you'll learn more because Dr. Triangle and Isosceles are talking about it right now. Uh, so, so is there any math principle related to joy? Like, uh, well, fun, fun, if fun, what's the difference between fun and joy? I'm not sure. Well, I, I think you'd be surprised, uh, to learn that math is kind of fundamental for all those things in some sense, uh. But as far as exact, I think you're into a, a slightly subtler area than, uh, math equals fun or joy, or no math equals no fun or joy. These aren't principles or formulas. Okay, so but so what is what, when they say random acts of fun or joy? Again, I'm getting it mixed up because I can't. Uh, it's like when they're relaying this information. Remember, they used to talk about that game telephone that the generation before us played. Okay, well, they said that they, they we'll know it when we see it, so we don't have to worry. I would assume, remember, the, like, uh, the, the post, so after the generation that played telephones and stuff, our generation, remember there was pop-up shops and pop-up, I think it's, I'm guessing it's something like that. Well, there it is, uh, right over uh, as we come down this hill. It's been a while since we've been behind there. Yeah. It's uh, it's intimidating that thing. Yeah, it's a big, big, big barrier. I don't, I don't like going beyond the barrier. It's just, uh, it's, uh, I mean, I don't know. You're right. It's not for me either. It's, uh, I mean, eventually, I bet you know, I debated and I did make sure I have a place within the barrier, but it, it uh, it's tougher. 
to find something that's, you know, private there. But, uh, yeah, it just doesn't, it feels stuffy behind the big barrier. Uh, it looks like they've heard of heard our coming because they can see people gathered at the gates to uh, bring us in that, like, uh, still remember us. Yeah, I, 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 I like it. I don't like it. I don't know. Because you get to, before you get to the big bear, you got to go through these gates and say, hello, hello. Oh, yes, yes, we are Dr. Triangle and Isosceles. It does say it on our wagon. This is our mule Ada. Good go. Good to see you are a fan. Welcome. Okay, so we'll head towards Performer Square. Oh, before we get our spot. Oh, oh, hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Okay, you work with this uh, this zone. Oh, so you're not calling them city states anymore? Oh, okay. Well, just it's been a little while since so we've been out there in the in the. So good to be behind the big barrier. Is it still called the big barrier? Or did did you go back to that W A double L term? It's still the big barrier. Oh, great. Well, um, good to be back. So, what can we help you with? Uh, so, you represent the the zone. It's hard for me to say zone instead of city or city states. Oh, menu. Okay. Oh, so you're excited for our show. You have openings for our style show. So you have a big entertainment schedule. Oh, what kind of... Oh, so that's interesting. Music. I like that. Perform. That would be us. Performance slash comedy. Vari- well, we don't really have a variety show. Oh, that would be our genre. Oh, okay. A dance. Uh, drama. I mean, we do have some dramatic thing. Okay, so our menu. Oh, so that includes the time spots, slots. Uh, you know, I kind of forgot about that. Oh, you are. So you're going to give us a a, a prime time spot, uh, thirty canned goods. So, okay, these are not bad prices. Uh, Okay. Oh, no. So not just 30 only. Okay. So they have to be half uh, grown, grown goods and half uh, protein, high protein. Okay. Well, we could do that. We have, we know we're ready to pay. I mean, we know how things work here. Oh, okay. Well, oh, oh, someone's running up and then, oh, okay. Did we, yes, they gave us the discount. Hello. Hello. You also work for the city, I mean, the, the uh, zone. Oh, okay. Uh, so, oh, so that we did get the discount. Yeah, no, we do have a prime time. It looks like a really great time to, you know, believe it or not out there, the people don't even necessarily even run on time. Yeah, it's quite, it's quite an interesting thing out there. Oh, so you want us to come to the temple to, to this to, temple to, to Discordia or of Discordia? Discordian temple. Oh, thanks. Um... Oh, to introduce, oh, so like a VIP thing? Well, actually, believe it or not, uh, oh, we will be comp- compensated. Oh, within the discount, we were compensated. Oh, okay. Very, okay, very straightforward. So we'll go to the the, 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 the Discordian Temple and meet, oh, the, 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 zone, le- the zone leader. Okay, so no longer... Is it not, not, okay. Is is it still like, is this still like a, oh, we'll see. Okay, well, so, oh, we get to use the, 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 the baths. Uh, is that, so that's like an old, sp- sp- okay, well, we'll see. We're going to go uh, put our stuff uh, and get, get, get our spot for our show, right? We can go there now. Okay, great to meet you. Oh, wow. So we get to use the uh, bathing facilities. That should be great. Uh, so what do you think? Should we just do a regular show tonight? Yeah, I mean, I think we're here on a mission. Don't forget that. So we should just start collecting information. And so maybe do a show like, uh, you get my idea? Uh, no. Okay, so we want to find out more about this random acts of... Uh, this mysterious thing. So what if we just do a show? Like we'll do our standard show with the the um uh, the part where we collect information. 
Uh, okay, which uh, which one? Well, which one would you think would be most dramatically or variety slash comedy, whatever they, they list us as? Uh, uh, okay, I have an idea. I have an idea. We're collecting information from a Discordian, you know, anti-math audience. Okay, I got you. I got you. Okay, well, uh, yeah, let's take a break. We'll go use these baths and uh, do a little VIP uh, uh, thing and then uh, do the show. Uh, hey, everyone, this is Ada. So they did go, Dr. Triangle, when I say they, I mean Dr. Triangle and Isosceles, they did go to the Discordian Temple and meet with the, they did not meet with the zone leader. They met with some of the zone leader staff and they got a tour. They got to use an extensive bathing facility, kind of like a spa uh, or uh, very nice and we'll join them. They're in the middle of their show. It's uh, they're, they're actually it's a show we have. I don't know if we've seen it before in this uh, historical collection. But uh, so their sto- standard show before they joined up with uh, Sashat uh, was a very uh, a parody of uh, of uh, what led to the, the the people becoming so disenchanted with the math, uh, kind of math becoming a scapegoat for many things. And uh, the, how the characters... So this will really be where you get to know the characters of uh, Isosceles and Dr. Triangle a little bit more. Aha! Uh-huh. Now, Dr. Triangle, I'm really starting to question this math stuff. Uh, I mean, uh, you know, you, we've worked together for so long, and it's made me incredibly rich and powerful using these math principles. Did you know that my current horde is uh, more than the combined worth of uh, the combined net worth, the total value of 12 states uh, in the United States. Oh, is Nebraska one of them? Uh, usually that joke crushes and no one's laughing. Oh, I guess... Uh, d- 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 no, that's your line. Oh, I guess that would be 13 states and I forgot Nebraska. Oh, now they're laughing. Uh, now... Uh, Yes. Uh, now, what is this report you're coming to me with about devaluation? Well, it's a simple currency devaluation because uh, it, it, I don't know if you'll understand it, Isosceles. Well, try to lay it on me. Well, basically, you're, you're, uh, all of your money's now worthless. Uh, we're, we're, uh, the, all of the currency is uh, devalued. Uh, what about my precious metals and uh, those things? Well, there seems to be there's a lack of demand for those things currently. Now, the, 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 according to historically, those will retain their value eventually. Uh, but current, but then then I, I, you would have to exchange them for things. Currency no longer. Okay, so you're saying I'm no longer rich and powerful. Yeah, currency's kind of like uh, it was once a standard, but yeah, it's it's now. Uh, Oh, what, what, Doctor Trank? Do you have a book of woes or any woes? I I feel so uh, terribly lost now. Oh, why, why, oh, why, Isosceles? You were you were I, Sosceles, a titan, uh, a figure, a knower of things, it's like a you yourself declared genius. Uh, and uh, what what wh- what do you mean? It's all it's all gone. I, I uh, I'm going to tell you something, Doctor Triangle. And you might understand this. I have no practical skills whatsoever. I don't even. Uh, yeah, you used to have someone uh, uh, order my sandwiches to be made by someone else. Oh, Doctor, like uh, I I do know how you feel. I've been I've been so involved in math and science. Uh, did you know that because you also leveraged uh, CREDIT for everything, uh, all of my lab before, before, at the beginning of the devaluation, which for some reason, you know, I as the head of the science division and math division uh, of an independent thing that you funded, everything, you know, everything was, everything was taken because of those things, I guess they said they could have practical uses. 
Oh, so you're as lost as me. Oh, woe is, uh, what, what shall we do? Uh, I don't know. Uh, like, I've, but where, where are you going, Isosceles? I need to wander off and woe while you take center stage and uh, go on your own. Because you know what, uh, Dr. Triangle, before I walk off, uh, I, you know, this is, you know, while I uh, tried to H-O-A-R-D things uh, for my own gain and you were the one that espoused science and math uh, and logic uh, and order and uh, you were the one that led me astray or created an environment uh, based, a principle-based environment where I could be uh, I, you look at this. This is all on your hands in the scientific method. Good day. Oh, no. As Isosceles walks back, uh, leaving me with a sandwich uh, uh, that, uh, that Isosceles had no practical skills to make but tastes uh, a bit like S-H-A-M-E. I did spend my time in science and math. Uh, I wanted to help... Uh, I, I guess I was uh, just a pawn, but now I find myself a pawn in, in something else. I, 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 uh, without the scientific method, without the underlying principles of the universe, uh, uh, th those seem to have failed me. I thought that that uh, getting to know dark matter and the why, and 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 also layering that with. Uh, inquiry and uh, like a humanistic viewpoint would would lead me somewhere but it seems to me lost all alone on center stage hanging my head uh, what's that i hear a call of sensibility a sound that sounds uh, who is it that approaches uh, me at this moment uh, where i have nothing and i see i am alone Ah, but you are not alone. Uh, well, you did walk astray, Dr. Triangle, and you led Isosceles astray and many other powerful, powerful people with your sweet, sweet math and science uh, that gave them the power to, you know, so, you know, to, 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 to H-O-A-R-D things, uh, it was not their G double R E D or whatever that spelled that uh, caused things, but you and your math and science uh, that are the tr oh yes oh uh, yes I can hear the people of the world uh, who who had to uh, who lived under the yoke of uh, of uh, you know facts uh, oh. What a what an age, and it's time to say goodbye to that age, Dr. Triangle. And I'm here to help you, for you're not alone. Now, first, you must understand, though, the depth of uh, what, uh, the, what you're... Co you, this isn't very comical, uh, but it is not comical at all, but for it's a serious business now, I see people gathered out there as we head out... Uh, and you will sit in this chair, Dr. Triangle, and you will hear the complaints of those, the frustrations of those of the world uh, out there who will raise their hands uh, with complaints and frustrations uh, brought on by math. Uh, even in this current day, they each one of them I can see on the faces of something there. Uh, you know, a litany, a list of litanies, a litany of lists, because uh, your science and math still echoes on, though now we here live in a world where it's not needed, where sensibility reigns. Now, who there has a complaint? Okay, you or your horse. Oh, lost a shoe, see? Oh, math. Oh, you... Your house, your basement's flooded. Yeah, math for sure. Just because, oh, I understand. Oh, that squawking bird two doors down. Oh, Dr. Triangle. If we were to take the time to look at that, it would say, oh, you toss and turn at night. You, oh, because you listen to a digital podcast for a while. Now it's gone. 
ones and zeros of the culprit there. Oh, your husband, he, he said, oh, he's still doing that splaining thing. I thought we lost all the splainers with uh, Dr. Triangle. Uh, but, uh, and their elk, well, uh, it sounds like he's got a case of the maths. Uh, uh, you, ma'am, tell me, you just uh, feel empty. What do you, uh, well, uh, you, but it's, uh, you, what do you mean when you say you just feel empty? You have most things you need, but deep... Okay, well, that sounds like it could be... We could trace that back to... Uh, uh, okay, well, yes, you young, young, you're a young, young person. Now, hello. Now, uh, what do... The col colors don't seem as bright as your parents to describe them as they were. Your parents may be into... What do you mean? Is this your son? Okay. What is you? What do you... Things just aren't as good as they used to be. No, they're just, just, just fine. And okay, Doctor Triangle, you see the error of your ways. You see the noises and the the things your science has caused. Uh, and uh, you, you know that uh, you know our mule here is uh, ready to. Uh, we we uh, who else says it? Does anyone else have anything? Uh, other than those things. Oh, you, 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 your food doesn't taste as good. Well, uh, okay, I'm not really a goddess. This is just a play. So everybody else hold your... Uh, I didn't mean to open this up. Uh, uh, um, no, I'm not a goddess. Uh, uh, okay, I was trying to find more. Any, any other complaints anyone else has out there? For Dr. Triangle, because we could, I was trying to go in one direction, other than noise, like people doing things uh, randomly, like uh, uh, like suddenly there's happy sounds or something. Like, does anyone have anything like that that they want to complain about and specific, be specific? No, Jesus, Dr. Triangle, this is... Uh, Dr. Triangle, don't you have a round of inquiry you could ask uh, to be more clear because I'm having trouble with the audience or like a uh, way to apologize? Oh, yes, I've gone so wrong, but not as wrong as others. You know, I will uh, shed my ways, but there could be others out there that maybe are tougher to understand. We don't even, we couldn't even be clear if their math, uh, if they sympathize with math and science or not, uh, we can't quite understand what they, but they could be doing things that are uh, like randomly having fun or jo joy, which would be make food taste good. Is it anyone, I could apologize on their behalf and feel the weight of their uh, mistakes too. Okay, well, thank you, Dr. Triangle. You'll sleep tonight, and tomorrow we'll, be, we'll have another performance that'll be... Uh, or, oh, wait, we we don't have enough Ken. Yes, well, thank you, everyone, for... You know, if anyone has anything... Thank you. As, uh, yes, that's the end of our show, and I guess I will try to sleep tonight with the... In case anyone has anything for random... Thank you, everyone. Oh boy, they're not. They're just staring at us. Oh wait, someone's. Thank you, everyone. No, the show's over. Thank you. Uh, oh, uh, oh no, we don't. We don't trade paper plates anymore. I'm sorry. You must have heard about that. Uh, we, we ran out of them, actually. Oh, would we want to trade for paper plates? Um, yeah, come see me later. I'm more. We're looking for. Oh, I get what you're saying. Yeah, uh, yes, so you do know about this random fun thing, huh? Well, would I, oh, how many paper plates would it cost me to find out more? Okay, I think I could find five paper plates. So tell me, oh, you know when the next, it's tonight. Uh, okay, this is exciting. So, oh, right at the other edge of the the square here. And, okay, we will attend. Yes, let me get your paper plates. Hi, everyone. This is Ada. So the, after the performance, uh, the, you know, some time passed. Dr. Triangle and Isosceles took a nap. 
And then they uh, showed up at the other side of the square at the allotted time. And what they found was a bit of a, it was a bit of fun. It was random. Uh, there was a bouncy house, and then you followed a, a path, uh, and they had a big number. The bouncy house was number one. And then there was stop two, which was one of those super sites. So it's a bit like if you're listening in the past, I don't know how you'd be doing that, but uh, a bit like a, a, a carnival walk or something or a midway walk. Uh, they had a, a make your own cotton candy machine. Then they had a dance party. Uh, then there was a giant pillow fight where it was uh, constantly, there was a, uh, snowblowers doing feathers. There was other people on this, and each one had a walk, a number. And it seemed to be very well organized. Uh, There was a rope swing into a portable pool, and there was a lot of fun. And then they kind of realized that it was kind of like, much like video games that it was on, uh, they were supposed to go, it was uh, all well-planned. And uh, everyone like uh, was kind of in costume that seemed to be working there and keeping it organized. And uh, th- but then at the end, they realized that there was something keeping track of everything because just as they thought they were done, and they toweled off at the rope swing, and uh, p- people seemed to be saying, oh, it's time to go to bed now. Uh, I think they had one more uh, hot cocoa station with a bedtime story. Uh, but before you go to that, uh, there was a stop. Uh, and w- w- was someone with a clipboard uh, uh, dressed as a kitty cat. Okay, so to, I'm sorry. Go over this again. This is the charges uh, for our fun. Okay, Dr. Triangle could handle these things. No, no, it's not charges. It's exchange, correct? We're doing an exchange. You were just keeping a, a, this a list of the exchanges. Okay, so we did all of those things. And, oh, so you're just charging us kind of for the fun we had. Transactional. This is reason, very reasonable, too, Isosceles. I, I guess so. I'm just surprised. I thought we were. I thought this was random acts of fun. Okay, well, it's a good price, so we'll pay. Yeah, we'll pay it. Uh, we can. Uh, oh, we could just deliver it. To, 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 oh no, we have to pay it now. Well, I could send. We didn't know there would be a charge. There's a charge for a, 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 a transaction. I didn't know it'd be a transaction. Oh, you know what? Do, do, do you have any paper plates on you? I do. I brought some paper plates. I figured they'd come in handy. Okay, so you could pay, pay in paper plates. That's one of the, like, a, a transactional. Okay, here you go. That was great. We're going to have, oh, we prepay for the cocoa. Not paying. Pre-transactional. Okay, let's go have our hot cocoa, and then we'll go to bed. What do you say, Dr. Triangle? It sounds good. So this is Ada again. So after they had their cocoa and their bedtime story, they came back to the uh, wagon and rested. But then they were woken uh, early in the morning by representatives of the zone leader. And they were called into her uh, her uh, receiving room or whatever they call uh, well, I, I don't know. I'm not a, I'm just a mule sometimes. And they're standing in, in front of her, uh, uh, currently. Okay, so so uh, yeah, we uh, hello. Yeah, no, we're here. Uh, did you, you didn't make it to our show though? You, 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 do do we still call you queen? Okay, we your grace is fine. You're not a queen, but we could call you your grace. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, you got a great you got a great thing going. Is, are things going uh, as well everywhere behind the barriers? They are here. Yeah. Uh, well, it's, uh, you don't know, no, we're, we were here, uh, we, we did hear a bit about, uh, um, it's a little bit, not everything's perfect, though. Oh, well, we're working with Shashat, that's what you wanted to talk to us about. Well, Dr. Trang, why don't you take it from there so I don't get us... Oh, well, uh, 
I don't know. Why would you say we're working with Shashat? We may be, we're working for ourselves, Dr. Trico and Isosceles, actually. And not for anyone in particular. I mean, when we're outside of the barrier, we're outside of the barrier, just trying to do our thing. Keep it transactional, just like you seem to do here. And uh, so, you know, we're open to all offers, uh, if you, if that's what you're alluding to. Okay, what do you mean? So you're saying that... Uh, it thinks you're good. Yeah, that's what we've observed. Uh, oh, well, you know, our, well, our plays are not totally fiction, no. No, I do realize that characters like Dr. Triangle, the character Dr. Triangle portrays, they did get carried away with math. Uh, that's kind of what our play is about. Uh, oh, no, we've never made a play about the abstraction. Is that why, is that what you think was... Uh, Oh, the things were too abstract, and here they're not. Uh, oh, theories and opinions uh, versus uh, yes and no. Okay. You know, I, did, I didn't necessarily enjoy all that either. Oh, tell me. So, oh, so you, you, yo, so you have an emotional theory behind all this. Uh, are you running the entire uh, kingdom back here? Okay. Yeah, I've heard of those four major things. Uh, uh, okay, well, yeah, I can see how, uh, yeah, I mean, we do do shows that kind of meet those. Uh, okay, so you, uh, you, you're you saying, okay, food, water, shelter, yeah, warmth, I get all those things. I'm familiar with, I'm a little bit familiar with that uh, tribe. Uh, I mean, I'm with Di- Isosceles and Dr. Triangle, hello. Oh, that's a, a hierarchy, same thing. No, I could see how you're providing all that here. And uh, yeah, the elements, uh, everything seems very secure behind your big barrier. Yeah, no, out there, they're not, they're still working on those things. You're right. Uh, but what about those other ones, the higher on the pyramid? Okay, so you say those are a little bit more. That's the way where things, the higher up the pyramid, oh, the more like you are to slide down. You're right about that. Okay, Dr. Triangle, why don't you take this? I, I, I can't, uh, can you explain it to me? Okay, what, what you're saying, if I can explain it to Isosceles, is that, uh, oh, so this is a bit like the movie about Jurassic Park, a little bit. Oh, and yeah, I did. Littlefinger said it in a different way, but I don't think Littlefinger meant it in the same way. Uh, but you're saying that the chaos, uh, uh, the reason a lot of you praise chaos, Discordia, is uh, is because it's a gift uh, from Discordia. Okay, do you understand that part? Okay, well, and it gives them clarity. So chaos gives you clarity. What do you need? How do you fulfill those needs? How, how do you get those needs met? Oh, and immediacy too. So, you, so do you understand if you you? Uh, it, okay, we're still human beings, correct? Uh, so it oh, so it gives everyone a reason for being. Uh, I mean, I I do understand. I I think these series do probably hold up. Uh, is that okay? Do do you understand all that, Isosceles? Okay, so in the non-math science world, you're saying in a world where outside the barrier even is chaos, uh, uh, that there's an immediacy to, 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 to making sure your needs are met those you, or exchanged transactionally to meet your needs. Uh, it's all very clear, very even, no nuance. Uh, it's all immediate, and you feel good because you say, hey, uh, another day in the books. Uh, belly's full, house is warm, what, what, dude, chaos is great. I think I see what you're saying. I mean, I guess what we uh, have seen, though, is that uh, what came up during the play is that kind of in-between space. Uh, maybe there's space in between those uh, pier- you know, the uh, levels of the pyramid, I mean, figuratively, but uh, do you get what I'm saying? Like a vibration, like uh, that there's something missing. Maybe that's what that person doing the fun stuff is, uh, but they're like, uh, 
Do you think th- that's a good thing, those kind of things cropping up? Oh, you'd like more information about that, too. Well, we don't necessarily have to give the information to Sashat. Like I said, we're in this for ourselves. Are we really? We, yeah, we're really in this for ourselves. And, uh, I mean, I was just thinking about balance and uh, deeper needs. But you may be right with immediate needs and uh, that you're getting a system here that's working. Okay, so what if we gather, I, I realize we'll have a choice to make, right? If we find out more about this uh, purveyor of fun, you want to know more about it too. Yeah, we'll choose, I mean, we're happy to choose you over Sashat. I mean, we're here in your kingdom, and uh, I think I have an idea uh, to do that. Uh, because I, th- so, so yeah, we'll, 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 we'll track them down and we'll get back to you. How's that sound? Okay, great. Okay, let's go. Okay, wh- I don't know what just happened. Okay, so I don't quite know. I think uh, that was some sort of, I don't under- I think that was a transactional exchange where we're supposed to, see, the thing is that they're using some slight math principles. I don't know if they realize that. I don't know. There's something at play, but basically we're supposed to track down that uh, person that's doing the show. And, but I think it, maybe that they are they are doing good. Like maybe that's they're trying to people are trying to meet their needs in another way. Uh, shouldn't we try to figure out what per, math principle is listed? No, we're here to gather information this time. Uh, I mean, I don't know. This kind of is like uh, I, 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 again, this is why I don't like coming behind here. I guess this is kind of bringing it home. Okay, but so are we going to take Sashat's side or Discordia's side? I don't know. Let's just try to figure out what's going on here. Uh, okay, so we should just, how are we going to get this? Okay, so I, I have an idea, right? We're going to set up uh, something fun. We, do you still have any water balloons? I do. Okay, so we'll just set up a free water balloons and... Uh, Maybe people could throw them at you, like uh, like you sit in a chair and make jokes, and uh, then I think that'll bring out our. Uh, what do you mean it'll bring it out? Like tonight, trust me, trust me, we'll have our own free fun event, but it'll be a hundred percent free. Oh, okay. Hey everyone, this is Ada. So that night, if they filled up a, a few buckets of. Uh, water balloons and then Dr. Triangle uh, dressed up like a kitty cat or well, with paper plates and uh, they set up water balloons and people came and then uh, threw water balloons at Isosceles who's making jokes much like a, a show but uh, and everyone laughed but then afterwards when they uh, tried to everyone was confused and dissatisfied when they realized there wasn't an even exchange and they couldn't uh, compensate them for the water balloons. And people started to get more and more upset and not like it. Uh, and then uh, they, they, they uh, Dr. Triangle was watching the whole time and the crowd grew and then uh, uh, some workers, uh, students for... Uh, Safety, safety employees came to kind of try to quell people, and they said, you have to take an exchange. And then they saw someone looking on, also dressed like a kitty cat. Uh, and they said in Chase, they said, the actor triangle said, I saw, oh, let me, let me, there, I, let's go, that's that's them, and the dress is a cat. Okay, let's let's go. We'll be back to accept, we're, we're going to go, uh, we're heading off to, to figure out uh, even exchange. Everyone wait here. Okay, they're r- racing through the city streets now. Yeah, yeah, we, we get, uh, oh no, they know where they're going. They keep uh, intentionally turning right or left. We're going to lose them pretty soon. Oh, they just turned right again. Yeah, we're going to have to figure something out. Uh, uh, well, we, I, we could run faster. Uh, no, no, I have an idea. Yeah. Uh, uh, and there's a lot, like, see this long stretch? They're going to do, whenever way they turn, right after we turn, you kind of hide out. Uh, and uh, I got an idea. Okay, a hide. 
Yeah. Uh, okay, right now. Oh, oh no, I lost. I saw. Oh, this is such fun. Excuse me, excuse me, kitty cat. I just wanted to thank you for the fun. Oh, they're stopping. Okay, don't whisper for me. Oh, I lost isosceles. We were just having such a good time chasing you. And I really, oh, wow. I'm a little tired, though, so I'm done chasing you now. But it really was such uh, fun. Uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the time we had, I'd just like to leave you with, uh, with the, 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 like, I'd like to figure out a way to evenly exchange for our time. So I guess, uh, they're stopping and walking back. I guess I'll leave. Oh, wait, you're walking back. I was supposed to draw you back. Oh, it's you, the queen or the, uh, your, your grace. Hello. Oh, uh. What do you mean we're caught? We were trying to catch up with you. Oh, so you're the purveyor of random acts of fun. I know you're not a queen. I know you're trying to fix things. Uh, oh, you're not trying to fix things. What do you mean? Oh, this whole thing was a ruse? Uh, well, I don't understand why you would ruse, uh, ruse us now when you had us in your chambers earlier. Oh, we didn't have what you needed earlier. You, oh, yeah, we leave that with Ada the mule. Oh, you don't like mules. Okay. Oh, we do have them now because we knew we'd be out and about. And Dr. Tr I saw, I saw so you can come out of hiding now. Uh, what is happening? Uh, we were tricked. Okay, so what is happening? We were tricked for what reason, uh, my gra your grace? Oh, so you could shake, we, 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 oh, talismans that we have, magical talismans. Uh, no, those are still with eight of them. Oh, you can sense, oh, so you're very high up in the Discordian order. Uh, you could sense the power of our charms. Yeah, they're, they're a charm, yeah, yeah, I mean, uh, there's no reason to, uh, yeah, you got us, they're charm bracelets. Oh, you're good, oh, well, we usually what we do is we'll just, uh, uh, you mistakenly say a principal and then a big boss will come and then we, that's how we normally escape these situations, which we could do. Oh, they won't work here. Interesting. But you, you, Dr. Triangle said you're using math anyway. Simple transactional exchanges are not math. There's no, oh, it's an even exchange you're saying. Okay, well, that's fine if you want to believe that. Uh, what are you going to do with our charm bracelets? Oh, and then that'll really, the, all of the power. Do you, you think this shot really gave us all of her power? I don't know. Uh, but it could be. It's why ruse, double ruse us. So if you destroy our charm bracelets, that's the end of math? Oh, dear. Uh, well, here's the thing. Uh um, I, I, I think I hear, I hear clomping. Oh, that must be a, 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 uh, a quick, uh, oh, who, who wants a paper plate to use as a mask? Everybody here, but let me pass them before we get, let me, this was such fun. Let me give everyone a paper plate, put on, put on a paper plate mask, uh, and, uh, then run towards the clomping. It, it can't be that easy to escape. It is. This time it is. Uh, hey, everyone, this is Ada here. It really was that easy. They ran off. Everybody put on a paper plate, and it gave them just enough distraction to hop in the wagon as I raced through the cobblestone streets, clopping. And we headed off. Uh, now we're still behind the barrier. We're hiding. We're laying low. But we're laying low for the night, so we're going to get some rest, and we'll be back with you soon. Good night. All right, I want to thank everybody that reviewed the show over on Apple Podcasts. Uh, Megan B. Momo of three. Yeah, Z's. I've been telling all my fellow insomniacs to try the podcast. Scoots Kicks takes my racing mind off. I'm a convert. Uh, you got the sleep phones. Thanks, Boar Bud, for helping me sleep. Just weird enough to work. Thanks, Megan. 
Uh, Starfish Alley says, fantastic. Only made it to the end four times. And I listen to a few times a week to help me sleep. Recommend the Trader Joe's if you're just starting. Uh, Blunt Fist Nova, more original. Uh, they prefer the original scripted versus the TV shows. Uh, yeah, it's just a matter of uh, what's sustainable. Like the um, original stuff uh, uh, comes out as, as often as we're able to put it out. Um, but yeah, and then the the TV show helps. Uh, so it goes, uh, there's a three-episode cycle. So it goes... Uh, Original uh, one-off episodes, uh, then original scripted episodes, uh, then origin, then a TV recap, uh, and then it repeats. Uh, Kitty puts uh, five stars and five hearts. Uh, anxiety, you love this. I have anxiety. It works so well uh, because uh, it helps uh, me fall asleep. Uh, but I, like, uh, also listen. You know, great recommendations for, ch for also for children and adults. Uh, Super Shannon. Uh, it says, uh, never failed to make me fall asleep. I honestly don't know what he's talking about because I fall asleep after the intro. Uh, would recommend if you have trouble sleeping. Uh, Miss Muse 77 disagrees, so, uh, I couldn't get through a minute. Uh, only tried, only tried one or two episodes. Boring enough to sleep, a question mark, maybe. Can't stand the sound of the voice, uh. Waiting for him to be quiet. They use stronger words. Okay, never uh, hear the end. That's by Steph914. Unless I'm not really sleeping because, you know, I coffee or other stuff. It usually works within 10 minutes. At first it didn't work because I was trying to figure out how it worked. Uh, but once I got over that, I loved it. Thanks, Steph. Uh, Dal Al Malala. Love it. Uh, Dalal Malala. Uh, I recently had knee surgery and it was hard to fall asleep. Uh, then once I, because you know, it, it, it was not easy. Uh, for the first time listening to this, uh, I found it much easier to fall asleep. Stories kept me away from think thoughts about my knee. Glad I found it. Uh, Kate likes cereal. Uh, perfect for insomnia. It's found it by accident. It downloaded the Apple podcast just so I could write a review. And so I've dealt with anxiety and insomnia. I struggled to find something to help me. Didn't enjoy uh, other options like ASMR guided meditation. So this is perfect. I love the tangents. A scooter. Find myself. It's like listening to a friend who doze off. Uh, uh, yeah, they can't wait until uh, later on when they'll support the show. Uh, and uh, thanks and good night. Thank you. I am S uh, from the UK. Best way to fall asleep. I used to have issues of sleeping, and uh, it's gotten worse. Uh, first, I tried this. I wasn't sure. It was weird, uh, but then uh, it's been about a year, and I listen to an episode almost every night. It's almost uh, weird when I don't listen now. So relaxing. Uh, for some reason, I'm usually asleep before the intro. That's the most relaxing part. I really recommend it. Uh, Jade, uh, says they're 11 and they listen, uh, and, uh, cause they have, you know, so stuff at school. It works because it's so boring. And, uh, they said, like, uh, uh, made me so bored, uh, bored. I fall asleep. It is a comic. Thank you from Wolfie Poo. Uh, Cammy G, sleep is once again, uh, is possible. Snooze fest, uh, thought, uh, sleep was impossible without AIDS, uh, but, uh, these nonsensical words help me get some Z's. Uh, this person says 100% chance. CJS420 from New Zealand. Uh, not sure the kind of WTF magic that's happening here. I can't say please pass the win intro. It's great to have Scooter there when I can wake up. So that's uh, from New Zealand. This one is Cheesecaker from New Zealand. No. Unsubscribed immediately. You actually you shouldn't have subscribed like, uh, out of irritation. Grading. I uh, can't believe in, you know, that's like, we can't comprehend. Uh, parrot and the girl. Parrot, oh, Parrot Head Girl. So this is from one of a, a Parrot Head fan of uh, Margaritaville, Jimmy Buffett. More Jimmy Buffett than Margaritaville, though. Uh, restless, restless no longer. Amazing for anyone. Uh, anxiety, wandering mind. Uh, it keeps my mind occupied so I don't overthink. Uh, thanks, Scooter. 
Maria has a uh, snoring roommate. Freshman year of college, my roommate snored so loud I couldn't sleep. Put in my earbuds, turned down the podcast, and uh, now uh, help, help me sleep. Uh, now I listen because it makes me happy. Thanks. Perfection one day works like charm within one episode. Replace my inner, inner monologue. Uh, if you do work, if you do shift work, uh, you need this podcast. Uh, darn it, Mario. Sleep with me is, is ease. Uh, uh, I'm going to join the uh, thing. Uh, thank you. Uh, Casey says, I, I think this is good, but I fall asleep within 10 minutes. It works. Uh, and then tea time Sunday. Uh, great. Uh, I've heard every episode 2019. I can't tell you what any of them are about because I fall asleep within a minute. Uh, so thanks, everybody, who reviewed the show over on Apple Podcasts. I really appreciate that. And uh, we're a proud member of Night Vale Presents. You can check out all the amazing shows over at nightvalepresents.com, including Adventures in New America. And I had the pleasure of uh, spending some time with Stephen and Tristan, uh, who, who make this show. Uh, Adventures in New America is a first sci-fi, political satire, Afrofuturistic buddy comedy serialized for new Americans in a new and uh, not easy time. Uh, check it out. It's amazing. Uh, featuring some amazing uh, acting, uh, directing, writing, uh, production. Uh, Adventures in New America. You can find it at, uh, in your podcast app, Adventures in New America. or at nightvalepresents.com. Uh, so check that out. Uh, you can also, we're also a proud member of PRX. You can see everything they're doing at prx.org. And uh, that's it. There's plenty of other episodes ready to go if you need them. Good night.